Am I the asshole? For expecting my daughter to stick to our chores for rent deal? So, I have a 20 year old daughter who is currently living with me rent free while she attends college. When she moved back home, we made a deal where she would cook and clean the house as a form of payment for her living here. She agreed to it, and we both thought it was fair. However, recently, she approached me and said that the cooking and cleaning are taking up too much of her time, making it hard for her to study and complete her homework. She asked if I could reduce the number of days she has to cook to give her more time for her studies. I told her that she should be grateful for the deal I offered her and that it's not that hard to do a few hours of chores compared to what many kids her age are going through. I pointed out that some of her peers are working 9-5 while going to school simultaneously, and I've given her the luxury of just handling some household chores in exchange for free housing. She ended up calling her aunt my sister behind my back to complain about how I'm treating her, and my sister called me, and kind of went off on me, basically saying I'm being too strict and should listen to my daughter. Here's where I'm unsure if I'm being an asshole. I want to stick to the agreement we made, but my sister's words have me questioning my stance. Am I the asshole? For not wanting to change the deal we initially made? I thought it was a fair deal. Edit well I wasn't expecting this post to blow up. Just to address some things. For one I'm my daughter's father, not stepmother. Her mother is no longer with us and I'm currently single. So this isn't a Cinderella story. Two, I'm not sexist for making my daughter cook for my sons who are only children. They don't know how to cook, let alone clean themselves. Three, I'm not trying to take advantage of my daughter. As I said in my post, a lot of people her age would die to be in the position she's in right now. I'm paying for her college and all I expect back from her is a homemade meal. I appreciate the feedback, but a lot of bad assumptions were made about me so I had to clear it up. Edit 2 After reading a lot of you guys' comments, I'm leaning towards making an ultimatum with my daughter. Either she can get a job and pay some of the rent, so she no longer has to consistently cook clean anymore or she can continue with the deal I initially offered her. To compromise a little bit, I might change some of the days she has to cook clean, to days where she has more free time to do so. I believe if she decides to take a 9-5, she will eventually realize just how good the offer I initially made with her was. Some may think I'm being harsh, but my stance is different on that because at her age I was going to school and I paid full rent by myself with no help from my family. So I believe this to be a fair compromise. Info how many meals she cooks a day weekend for how many person? Let's be honest when working or study we all had the sandwich day and food delivery calls just tired. You're the asshole. She told you she can't balance all the chores and studying. So either you think she's a liar, or you don't care that her grades and study will suffer, you're going to force her to stick to the chores. Which one is it? You're the asshole, why is your relationship with your daughter so transactional? Also willing to be the boys will never be put in this situation. But if you should be grateful that's usually the first indicator you're not listening or being observant for what is reasonable. You're the asshole this sounds like the beginning of a fucked up Disney movie where the daughter is abused and forced labor for the men in her life. Your sons are old enough to make themselves breakfast but god forbid your precious sons do anything for themselves. You're the asshole. Support your child getting an education. Cut the chores in half. Show her that she's more than Cinderella to you. Sheesh. Info to you gaff at all about her mental health and academics thoughtful face. You're the asshole, have you read Cinderella? You're the asshole, cooking two three meals a day plus cleaning a whole house. That's a FT job. Way to not want your child to succeed in life. You're the asshole. School workload is insane at that level. All the cooking and cleaning is absolutely more work than a 9-5 you're depriving your other children of learning good habits of cooking and cleaning for themselves. Just know a nursing home is in your future. You're the asshole.
Just wait till she also finds 9-5 job and you will never hear of her again. Clearly that won't really bother you though as you don't actually seem to care about her well-being. You're the asshole. You're the asshole. I would be willing to bet that if she was a man you would never had asked him to do all the cooking and cleaning. But if for not willing to trust she has a lot of school work and renegotiating. You obviously don't need the money so why? Do you and your family at least clean up after yourselves or you just expect her to be your personal chef and maid? You're the asshole. You're the asshole, young adults need support to build their life. She needs help, she is willing to be your maid but you are being a hard ass. You're the asshole, it's your job to provide for your children while they are studying. Parenting doesn't stop when they reach 18. You're the asshole. Did you make a deal that she could live there rent free provided she became your maid? Sounds like you got off more on the power trip than helping your daughter. In for why my ungrateful daughter gone North Carolina with me? Post in a few months. Info what does moves back home mean? Did she live in a dorm before? With her other parent? Who is paying her tuition? Info how many hours a week do her chores take? Sorry, you are way too harsh and sounds like lazy, yay, she is 20 and an adult I get it, but she is in school and is asking for reprieve, of course chores are okay, but she is letting you know it's too much for her, listen. You're the asshole. Your daughter did the adult thing she has trouble finishing homework and wanted to discuss this with you. Instead you shut her down by referring to other people. Well, there is always someone worse off. It's a lame excuse and is irrelevant. You're the asshole you and your sons should be cleaning up after yourselves. You should be cooking for the family. You're screwing your daughter over and you know it. But uh, she's living rent free. It's your daughter, FFS not some random roommate I know it's a cultural thing, but in my country I've never heard of someone charging rent from their offspring. Be it in money or labor. To me that's just nuts. But she is a full-time student, not your full-time maid. Generally, non-a-whole parents don't charge rent as long as the kid is in school. You want your daughter to cook for you? That's weird. The chores are understandable but the cooking is way overboard. I wanted to say NTA but you are making her do more than chores. Chores might be dusting, vacuuming, dishes, laundry, etc. Sounds like you want her to be chef, maid, and everything else. You're the asshole. Info. Who do you actually know that works 9-5 while still attending college? How would that even work? Have they found extra hours in the day? You're the asshole. You are leveraging her vulnerable position of having no wealth built due to her starting her life into her serving you and her siblings acting as your wife and their mother. Sick. The answer is yes. You are the asshole. You're the asshole pretty unfair to ask your 20 year college student to shoulder such big, encompassing tasks of running a damn household, 